Uh, good afternoon, folks. Thanks for tuning in to castingthewatcher.com. It is um, Sunday, the 7th of July today. Temperatures are really rose, very high temperatures today. The mercury rose to um, 29.7 degrees Celsius in Heathrow in London. That's 85.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you've been joining me in my tweets today, um, we've had lots of people kindly reporting in their temperatures. Thank you very much for doing that. Go over to the Alps section and report your day temperatures there if you want to do that as well. So what's the forecast for the next few days? Well, the forecast, luckily, is that warm conditions are set to last across the country for next few days as well and then they're set to die through some parts of the country through towards Wednesday morning actually the second and then they're set to really start to rise through the weekend again uh, with high pressure continuing to build things UK summit is finally here temperatures for July look, look, to, look like being very high um, through this week too temperatures really getting up through towards the mid-20s perhaps even the high 20s again across some parts of the country um, very warm conditions and uh, this is a rainfall chart for the next few days. Well, you might be asking, where is the rain? Well, it's not there, is it? Um, high pressure is built in across many parts of the country. There isn't any uh, rain across many parts of the country. It's just completely dry. Um, bar these odd outbreaks of rainfall for the Highlands of Scotland and also northern down parts of Ireland too. And this more general rain should stay away from the British Isles. Um, this, should, this is just fronts toppling over the main area of high pressure over the next few days. Um, this should stay away from the British Isles. Um, a few oreographic enhancements may lead to some rainfall across the Grampians and parts of the Scottish Highlands, but many parts of say dry tomorrow and just this stuff here picked up um across parts of norfolk this is just um, coastal mist and fog coming on lapping on if you like to these eastern coast through tomorrow and through towards wednesday but the bulk for the absolute majority of us it is dry and warm for next week uh, this is the pressure chart as of tomorrow, um, Monday the 8th of July. Um, warm conditions across many parts of the country there. Look, high pressure centred out towards northeast of Scotland. Um, but again, I think just some eastern coast of the country, just parts of northeast England and eastern coast of England, East Anglia too, could see um, just a few bits and pieces of mist, uh, mist and fog uh, across the coast too, and some cloud lapping on. But this should clear by the afternoon. Um, most parts you see some warm conditions, um, light winds for all, uh, perhaps just moderate winds across the far south of the country. If you want to um, cool off your winter tomorrow, maybe I'll go for an ice cream or cool off for a relaxing walk. Um, well, I think Cornwall is definitely the place to go. And if you want to get cool and wet, then eastern, eastern parts of Scotland, North York Moors, um, eastern Grampians is part to go for that. But the majority tomorrow, again, temperatures really high again. Temperatures going up to 28, 29 degrees Celsius across parts of the western Midlands, southwest England, in particular parts of, parts of South Wales and extending through towards southeast England as well. Uh, the hot weather continues through on into Tuesday and into Wednesday. Um, just slight modifications because the high pressure has started to retrogress for the northwest of the coastal country. Um, so it's set up now, the centre of it is 1,030 millibars ish across northwestern Scotland. And we're pulling in this slightly cooler north easterly wind across parts of north east England and Scotland. So I think there is a cooler element to weather on Wednesday especially across eastern parts of the country, but for the majority, especially to the western league of high grounds, the parts of North West England and Western Wales in particular, because you'll see a warmer day in comparison to those um those other days uh, during today and tomorrow when it was, when it was more westerly flow. Um, through Wednesday will turn more easterly, so it's the eastern coast that see the cool weather and western coast that see the warmer weather as the Chinook wind comes across western parts of the country. And uh, temperatures on um, Wednesday are expected to rise even further across the northwest, the centre of high pressure. It's just modificated very um, slightly towards northwest of the parts of northwestern Scotland and northern now that saw the, cloud, uh, saw the cloud today should see more in the way of sunshine by Wednesday. But by Friday, we are largely warm and dry again, back to square one. And by back to square one, I don't mean how I used to say it when I used to say back to square one. I usually mean we're returning to the settled conditions, but no, we're not. Um, through this week, it's going to be glorious, and we're turning back towards the settled conditions. Um, through Wednesday, that was like a cool low interlude through Wednesday, um, but it still remains largely warm and dry through Wednesday. And through Thursday and Friday, well, we just lift, lift temperatures up to where they are now, because many parts of the country, high pressure centered out towards the southwest of the country. Um, again, the stronger winds are just extended further through north parts of the country so just zooming in on detail I think through um, Friday I think a return to some patchy cloud across northern Scotland and northern Ireland too and um, with the high pressure just starting to sink south again and um, because notice what's happening down towards northwest Scotland say low pressure so the high pressure is starting to get attacked from the areas low pressure through towards um, Friday just a hint of something some sort of breakdown out of this little feature out towards the east of the country too and um, these little features here so just hitting the high pressure just starting to get attacked by different features from around the area uh, from different uh, angles so just a hit there to go through next week's things start to turn back uh, a week after next through towards uh, from the 10th of 
so thanks very much for watching you the one weather ahead i suppose there isn't really much to say is that i'm continuing on through tomorrow because many parts of the country through tuesday too and then a slight drip, drop um, drop off in temperature through wednesday because some parts of the country and um, but then through friday and also um into um thursday too the warmth continues to build again and even through wednesday to be honest it's a warm day and just getting hotter and hotter through thursday and friday across many parts of the country thanks very much for watching don't forget don't forget to check out today's solar activity blog and check out today's look at August 2013 if you, had, or if you haven't already done so. Uh, so. Thanks very much for watching and see you later.